So in this video, we're going to talk about how to change the height of the uh, button caps themselves. Um, obviously, for different players, different styles, people have a personal preference for this. A lot of people, for example, will want their left hand side, their direction buttons to be slightly lower so they can slide across the buttons for things like SPDs or to do faster inputs for supers or whatever. This is obviously personal preference and different players will do things in different ways. But we've set the FRS3 in such a way that we can change the height of the button caps for the left hand side and the right hand side independently. And we can change them fairly easily. Um, we will need to open up the case. So if you follow the instruction in the video specifically for opening up the case, uh, and then once we've done that, we can um, show you how to make the modification that will change the height. In order to do this, we will need um, some M4 sized washers. Mo in most cases, you'll have still have those that um, came with your F FRS3. But if you don't or if you need more of them, they are available at basically any hardware store. Very, very cheap, very available. Um, easy to get hold of um, for not very much money. This means that you can just lower the height of the caps by putting um, washers in between the two panels inside the FRS3. And once you've got the case open, we'll show you how to do that. So once we have the case open, we can change the height of the um, button caps by changing the way that the um, PCB panel is attached to the top panel here. So for this, you'll need just a normal screwdriver and um, probably something uh, like this, a little, or a socket set or something like that that you can hold these in place. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unscrew the screws that are here in the top, remove these, and then from there, in between these two panels, if you can see here, um, make sure the camera can catch that. In between these two acrylic panels, when we screw it back together, we're going to put the um, small washers in between the two. What that will do is that means that the top panel will stay where it is and the panel that actually has the switches mounted to it will drop down and they'll drop down by half a millimeter at a time. You won't be able to go too far down or they won't um, plug into the um, connectors, but for the sake of dropping the height of the buttons, you'll only ever need to go a few millimeters at a time. So if we add um, the washers in there and then screw it back together, making sure that these are nice and tight um, once they're back together, when we plug it in and push the connector into place, the top panel will sit exactly at the same height it did before and the buttons themselves as well as the panel will be slightly lower down. You can then put the top plexi on and check the height of your buttons and if you want to lower them down further put more washers in and so on. Once we've done that we can just put the case back together and we've got the change in height. Obviously we can do this separately for the left hand side and the right hand side um, but unfortunately, because of the way that the panels work, we can't do this for each button individually. It's just a case of all the buttons on the left-hand side panel or all the buttons on the right-hand side panel. 